We've seen strikes and disruption on the railways recently. Talks just managing to avert the latest strikes by the RMT union just this week, of course. Nisa, I see there's plenty of water on hand this morning. For sure, this is one of London's real beauty spots. It's famous for deer strolling around the place here. And as you mentioned, preparations going on behind me for a 5K, a 10K, and for the hardcore, a half marathon too. One thing's for sure, it's going to get hot here. Do you think Muslims are more inclined to marry more quickly? Our reporter, Anissa Kadri. Anissa Kadri. Anissa Kadri reports. This is a man that the court heard was absolutely besotted with a woman 40 years younger than him, a woman he met in a brothel. He was so besotted with her, in fact, that he was willing to hire hitmen to kill his partner of nearly 30 years. They're allowed to go and stay with family and friends because they've been told to leave their homes. So what the police are saying is that the flooding situation overrides the coronavirus restrictions. This is where women would leave their shoes as they entered the mosque in normal times. The mosque has moved many of its services online to stop the spread of coronavirus. That happened many months before it became a vaccination centre. You can see here thousands of people use this Facebook page to discuss homeschooling within the Muslim community. And I've been speaking to some of them over the past couple of months. They tell me that they've taken their children out of school for a number of reasons, from frustration with the government's anti-terrorism strategy PREVENT, to the fact their children are being bullied. The, the boys' uh, family's first concern is, my daughter's skin colour, as it is too dark. Yeah, but I used to be upset about it before, but now I'm really proud of my skin colour. We are living in UK and our mindset is still backward. So if there are all these issues in the Asian community when it comes to introduction marriages, when it comes to matchmaking, when it comes to rishtas, why, why do you still kind of want that as a possibility for your daughter? Because it's, it's hard you know, when you see like your family and your friends, your society, is it, I would say it's a society pressure. Well, we've got blue skies and blue sea here in Margate and you can see behind me the people who've been drawn to the beach by the good weather. The worry is, though, is how do you socially distance from other people, keeping two metres away to limit the spread of coronavirus on a busy English seaside when the sun is out. For the people who've come to this Islamic speed dating event, they say it's a chance for them to meet someone on their own terms. Is this fight taking you away from being with Charlie? No, we, we spend all our time with Charlie, literally 24 hours a day. So there's someone up there with him now just while, while we're doing this. The legal battle carries on. Connie and Chris, Charlie's parents, they say their fight's carrying on and many of the people behind me would, would agree. Is this our future king with the future of green energy? Well, they both stood to receive their jail sentences from the judge. Ahmed wearing a polo shirt and Khan in a suit. And a judge told them that he'd agree to sentence them separately from other men who'd recently been convicted of grooming because he said, at worst, you were on the periphery of this group. But he did say their crimes were still serious. Now, the abuse dates back to the late 1990s and the early 2000s. Both Khan and Ahmed got five years for false imprisonment after the victim said that she was held against her will at an address in Cowley. The men were cleared of rape, but the judge said that she was subjected to sexual humiliation. The test is carried out after surgery to see whether a tumour is likely to spread and people get a score out of 100. Women who score 0 to 10 are considered low risk. There's no benefit in having chemotherapy. At the other end of the scale, people who score over 26, there's a definite benefit. But there's a grey area for most patients who are in between. The findings suggested that for those patients aged over 50, chemotherapy wasn't needed. It's estimated this could affect around 3,000 British women a year. You know the person who lives here quite well, do you? Yeah, we've seen him a few times. We've always exchanged conversations with him, which he loves. We've always given him tea, coffee and hot food and stuff. Uh, but he's not in at the moment, so what do you think? We should still leave him a gift. 
uh, we live in his tent for him. Yeah. It's fantastic for community cohesion to get young men from the Asian Muslim community going out their way at Christmas and helping people from all backgrounds who are unfortunate, who find themselves as homeless. It looks like while things may be getting back to normal, uh, the advice still is check your flight, check when it's going to go because wintry weather causes chaos. Certainly does. Anissa Kadri, thank you very much indeed.